hi guys and welcome back to my channel before i begin i'd like to first say thank you so much guys for the support and i also want to encourage each and every person watching if there's anything that you have been desirous of doing or achieving but you've kind of been just sitting on it i just want to encourage you to just dive right in just get right to it you are more than capable of achieving whatever goals you set for yourself so just do it Okay guys, so the topic for today's hair discussion is building your hair regime. And this is going to be a two-part discussion. In this part today, I'm going to basically be discussing the basics. What I decided to do was just to put together this hair regime triangle to kind of just outline the basic building blocks of the most simplified hair regime. And at the base of this triangle, as you guys can see, is relaxing and trimming. The relaxing part is only going to apply if your hair is actually relaxed, of course. And relaxing is very important because you need to know your hair. Some of us might have heard of the whole concept of stretching your relaxers. And that really speaks to spreading out your relaxers as far apart as possible. And the reason why some people do this is to prevent overprocessing your hair. Because as you may know, you should not be relaxing your previously relaxed hair. The only part of your hair that should be touched up or relaxed with each relaxer day is your new growth. So if you do not allow enough new growth to develop, and you go for a relaxer, the chances of that relaxer touching your previously relaxed hair is very high. And that is why some people stretch to 14 weeks, 18 weeks, some persons 24 weeks. However, stretching is not for everybody. Why? Because it's based on the texture of your hair. It's also based on your ability to manage and handle your new growth. And it is also based on the rate of your hair growth. Because somebody's new growth at eight weeks might be very different from somebody else's at eight weeks. You may have two inches of new growth at eight weeks while the next person only has one centimeter. So you may have to go back for your relaxer faster than the next person. It is very important that you know your hair because the line of demarcation between the new growth and your previously relaxed hair is a very fragile line. And if you're not able to manage your new growth and if you have too much new growth and you try to comb through your hair, you run the risk of a breakage at that weak line of demarcation and if you're breaking your hair then you're going to develop split ends and if you're developing split ends when you eventually go to relax your hair you're going to find that you're going to have the trimmer cut a significant amount of your hair and you're not going to end up retaining the length so once again it is very important that you know your hair you know how much new growth your hair can take you know the texture of your hair and that you know how to actually handle your new growth that you ensure that you moisturize your new growth to make it as soft and manage up it as possible. So you have to determine how often you can go for your relaxers. So next to relaxing is trimming. So it is often recommended that it is best to trim your hair when you have just relaxed it because that is when your hair is at its straightest. What most persons do is that whenever they go to relax their hair or if your hair is natural, if you straighten your hair so that you can actually see those ends properly and your ends look damaged, they look split, then they should be trimmed at the same time. Next is the wash day right so it is recommended that you wash your hair at least once a week especially for those of us who live in very hot climates where we sweat a lot in our hair we may have to wash our hair a little bit more often but at a minimal it should ideally be once per week washing is not just to remove dirt from your hair but washing also helps you to infuse some of the nutrients back into your hair that you may have lost over the past week so washing is very important but some persons before actually washing their hair they may utilize the whole process of pre pooing their hair which speaks to the concept of infusing your hair with either a leave-in conditioner or an oil-based product prior to washing your hair so that once you apply that shampoo to your hair because remember the shampoo is going to strip your hair of all its natural oil Oils and all its moisture so once you have pre-put your hair before applying the shampoo that means that your hair doesn't become excessively dry after using that shampoo and that is the whole concept of pre pooing so once you have pre put your hair of course you can then wash your hair you use the shampoos you use the conditioners and of course you need to once weekly use your moisturizing deep conditioner and then of course you have your protein deep conditioners which should be used less frequently it is recommended that you use it about every four to six weeks i speak more about this on my video on conditioning and relaxing guys so please remember to check that out so after you have finished washing your hair of course you can then decide how you're going to dry your hair are you going to air dry your hair are you going to apply heat so your hair is relaxed or natural too much heat and too high heat is not good for the hair so you have to decide how often you're gonna apply heat to your hair if any at all if you decide to use a heat 
based drying technique however you have to remember that you need to use your heat protectant and next we move to the maintenance and maintenance is a very big big deal maintenance is what happens between each wash day cycle and basically when it comes to maintaining your hair you have to take a lot of things into consideration you have to take into consideration how am I going to uh, protect my hair throughout the course of the week so if you guys remember my video on protective styling and if you haven't watched it as yet so the link is below so with regards to protective styling, remember that your protective style could be that could be either short term or long term. Are you going to use a long term protective style, which may be weaves, braids, whatever it may be, or are you going to use a short term protective style, such as bonds? Long term protective styles could be damaging to your hair if you do not know what you're doing. There are three aspects to long term protective styles: the installation, the maintenance, and the removal. And I have found that a lot of women have been losing hair after removing their braids, after removing their weaves, and that could be due to some fault, whether in the installation, maintenance, or removal of that protective style. So it is very important that you, one, seek professional advice and you know how to maintain that style before actually putting it in because it could be counterproductive in the end. Because remember, the aim of the protective style is to retain the length. And if you are not able to manage it properly, what happens is that your hair is gonna break off and your hair is gonna end up being even shorter than it was before you had put in that protective style. You also have to ensure that you have a set nighttime routine, that you have the necessary accessories to institute your nighttime routine, whether it be a satin bonnet, a satin scarf, satin for the cases, whatever it may be. It is best to use some kind of satin to cover the hair or to sleep on to prevent the loss of moisture from your hair and to prevent excessive breakage. So you need to ensure that you have your accessories on board. Aside from that, maintenance also included moisturizing your hair as needed. You guys may have heard of the concept of moisturizing and sealing. A moisturizer is a water-based product, while a sealant is an oil-based product. And it is usually recommended that you apply your moisturizer and then you apply your sealant to help to keep in that moisture. And it is important that you know when your hair is in need of moisture because some persons need to moisturize and seal their hair every day while for other persons once a week is good enough so you need to know what your hair feels like when it is dry when it is overly moisturized and when it feels normal all right guys so once again in part two of this discussion on building our hair regime i'll be discussing what are some of the things i do at each aspect of the hair regime triangle but for now i really hope that this triangle will help you to just know what exactly you need to be focusing on when it comes to building your own personal hair regime remember what works for somebody else is not necessarily going to work for you so you have to know your hair and you have to know what exactly your hair needs and what your hair can take and manage so thank you guys so much for watching and thanks again for the support please remember to like share and subscribe to this channel for more health and hair related content See you guys again soon.